Hi there and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. You'll have to forgive me if sometimes I say your past is a gift <laughs> because it's an old habit. I'm Holly Bell. Okay, so continuing on from the previous video where we were talking about bullies and why some people are bullied and why others are not. And looking back at my school photos, you know, primary school, <laughs> Uh, before starting high school and then into high school it was worse like imagine I'm in school and in school I've got crooked teeth I've got this really short hair that I look like a boy and I'm wearing glasses right 100% of the time because I can't see any like everything's blurry without them that was my primary school when I started high school on top of that I had to wear braces right so <laughs> not a pretty picture <laughs> but why was I not picked on for being super different to the rest of the kids why wasn't there a group of kids picking on me because it happened at my school you know I was uh, you know one day this young man came up to me you know at the gym and he told me this and this was happening while I was at the school and when he said that to me, my brain just went, what? He was like, <laughs> not my school, right? That, that, those things didn't happen in my school, right? But they did. I just wasn't aware of it. And the reason I wasn't aware of it was because from the tiniest little thing, I was obsessed with learning right learning everything about this planet learning everything about the earth learning everything about life right i just i was fascinated with understanding how everything worked and why things were the way they were right from the youngest age i remember mum saying she'd went to a doctor's appointment and she lost me she couldn't find me <laughs> and i had uh, i had found a book that i was reading and i had snuggled up into a corner and i was so engrossed in what i was reading i couldn't hear her calling me right and uh <laughs> so she was mad you know so calling calling and she thought i'd disappeared or someone had taken off with me and all of a sudden then she finds me in the corner and i you know as she touches me you know she taps me and she's like why aren't you answering and I was like what <laughs> but my whole childhood was like that I went to school excited that every day I was there to learn something about the world about others about life about everything I just wanted to learn about everything and I would wake up every day excited that I get to go to this place and I get to learn all this stuff right that was my focus as I got up in the day I didn't look in the mirror and think, oh, my teeth are crooked and oh, I look funny with these glasses on and oh, I didn't have any of those thoughts, right? I, I have those thoughts now looking back at my photos. <laughs> I was such a geek and in those days, being a nerd or being a geek, it wasn't an in thing, right? We were the minority and by minority, I'm probably talking 1%, right? It wasn't, an, it wasn't a common thing in those days. But I was so engrossed with learning that I would even spend my lunch times in the library borrowing books and reading books. Like my whole time was taken up with learning, wanting to know about this world. And I had parents that had grown up in very poor countries, right? Like in South America, um, they'd grown up in poverty and from the youngest age that they could, they were sent to work. They didn't get to do school. So I couldn't go to them for information. I knew that they couldn't help me with what I wanted to know, with what I wanted to learn, you know? And so that was school and that was books for me. And that was my focus, school and books and teachers because teachers had all the knowledge, right? And so I was lo always looking at them for, you know, what's next? What are we gonna learn next? You know, what are we doing today? And so that was my childhood. That was my focus. You know, it all had to do with what am I learning? What can I learn? You know, what's new? What haven't I learnt yet? That was my focus. And what I've realized is with time that when you go into the world and you focus on there's something about you that's different or you think it's defective or faulty, um, 
say for example i'm just trying to think okay in those days we had brown hair right this beautiful dark brown skin and brown eyes and all the kids were fair right they were all aussie kids in those days when we all came to school i'm talking 50 years ago okay so <laughs> bear with me so when we all started the immigrant thing was just starting to happen here in australia with the school so they're all fair-haired kids you know all blonde or or even red hair was more common than us with the brown hair and the brown eyes and i could have stepped into school going oh wow there's no one like me here right they all look different they all have this fair skin they all look blonde you know or whatever it was and i could have gone into school with all of that thinking why am I different, you know? And because I look different and my parents couldn't speak much English, they'd even put me into a special class for learning English. <laughs> and the teacher, and I was so bored, right? Because I wanted to learn. And I remember it didn't take long before they realized, oh, she can speak English. It's just her parents can't speak it very well. And she knows how to speak English. And she can read. Like they were really shocked when they found out that I could read. I knew how to read somehow. I had learnt. I don't know how because my parents didn't know how to read English to teach me. So I don't know how I started school and I knew how to read. But I think it was because my parents were working a lot and I was um, left with this beautiful older couple that were Aussie. Like, you know, they were from here. And I must have learnt how to read with them, you know. I can't remember. Uh, I remember a photo of them, but I can't remember them at all because I was five, you know, by the time I started school. So all these things. And so what I realized was, you know, it has to do with what you're focusing on about yourself or about the world. What are you focusing on before you step out that front door to go out into the world? Uh, whether it is to school, whether it is to the office, whether it is wherever it is that you're going out into the world. What is it that you are focusing on? Are you focusing on my, I don't know, my hair's too frizzy, my nose is too big, my teeth are too crooked, I look weird with these glasses. I, what is it? You know, one day I had this special self-esteem um, uh, workshop. I'm trying to think of what the word was that I'd put together. And a few people came to that workshop. And what I found the most interesting was that in this workshop, I got them to pair off, right? They the each in pairs. And that you had to look at the partner in front of you and you had to write down what stood out for you about that person. And, you know, some would say it was their smile. Some would say it was their eyes because, you know, some of the people that came had beautiful blue eyes, like really bright blue eyes, or whatever it was, you know. And I'm looking at these people, I'm thinking, but she has a scar on her face and she has, like, I'm looking at what they might think is a defect, you know, uh, the nose, the teeth or whatever it was. Some of them were talking about they had hang-ups about all these things. And they found it really interesting that when the other person relayed back what was the most noticeable to them, it was never about the things they thought were the most no noticeable to everybody. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, the girl with the scar, that was the last thing the person opposite her even noticed, you know? The girl with the big nose, nobody noticed that. They were too busy noticing everything else, you know? So it's really us. We put the focus on one thing or certain things and we think that that's so noticeable about us that that's all anybody else can see and we go out into the world with that thinking that oh my god every time someone looks at me that's what they're looking at that's all they can see because that's all i can see about myself so i want you to really think about that today Think about what is it that you focus on or what is it that you were focusing on in those days if you were one of these people that was being bullied? What were you thinking about before you left the house or when you would get back home at night after you'd been bullied? What were your thoughts? Were you focusing on your stupid? Were you focusing on your fat? Were you focusing on what things were you focusing on? That's the main thing I really need you to sit down and think about today. And then we're going to look into 
what happens when we do focus on these things why they're there why are these things even there why are we even focusing on these things all right i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now